can we get all of this into that? One of the hardest things about travel is editing your stuff. And it doesn't matter what kind of rig you're in, whether it's a, a 144 Sprinter like ours or a 40 foot toy hauler, you're gonna always complain that there's not enough storage. Uh, so it's really a matter of figuring out, can you do with less? Because what we find on every trip is the more stuff we take, the more miserable experience we have. And every time we come back, we pledge to remove things and find smaller, uh, um, smaller options and uh, do with less, basically. So I have put everything out here on these tables, most everything. The only thing I don't have out here is our food and some of my electronics. Um, so things change all the time and sometimes our interests change. And right now we're really into our electric bikes and maybe down the road, you know, it'll be some other, some other toy. We'll have to figure out how to carry that in our, in our short sprinter van. But today I'm gonna show you how we pack and, uh, and hopefully help you maybe edit out some of the stuff that you think you need, but you don't really need. Bedding is the hardest thing, which is why I have changed our bedding situation so many times. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to show you where it goes because that'll clean most of this stuff off the table. Uh, this is our bed roll. Whoops. And uh, everybody's sleeping is different. Some people use uh, a van like ours in the twin bed position. We don't, partly because John is so tall, six foot five. His feet hang over and he has to sleep diagonally. So, you know, if you don't have that situation, maybe you like to sleep in sleeping bags. We've had, you know, a lot of people have recommended the, the, that kind of a sleeping arrangement, but it, that doesn't really work for us. And so we have a duvet um, over a um, comforter and that's our top cover. We do like pillows and so we each have two. Uh, two uh, small pillows, and I have different colors on them so I know whose is whose. And then I have a regular large pillow, as does John. And then we both have uh, towels. And we have uh, two twin size fitted sheets for the bed. So squat in the van. Pillows go up here underneath the cab shelf. John's pillow, though, is always the last thing to get put away because we don't really know where it goes. Towels go back in the corner of the cab shelf. The other bulky things are, you know, the, the window curtains. Um, this is the cab curtain, and so that'll go up here. That's the insulated cab curtain. This is the curtain that goes over the sliding door, which if it's, you know, cold or hot, we'll use it, but if it's in between, we won't. Uh, these are the rear curtains, and this is the extra sheet. The moonshade fits really nicely right underneath the, uh, this little ledge. Next is the bathroom stuff. I want to show you guys something new in the bathroom. Several people have asked me what we do with dirty clothes. And so I found this online and it's, we've used it, we used it on our last trip and it worked out. It's a hamper attached to a clothes hanger and I leave it up here. I'm gonna have to find a new spot for this though. And I leave it up here because, it, uh, because this door is bowed and uh, doesn't take up too much space when we put our clothes in there and it holds a lot more. So that's working out well. Not until we use it though I can keep it folded up here like that so that's and I got something else to show you so I had installed this shelf on the rack here and then I went online and I found this towel this paper towel holder because I thought well maybe this will slip right over that rack as well so now I have an extra paper towel holder so that's uh, that's gonna work out really well and then I, this is where I moved, oops, I moved the, um, the stretchy cargo net that was back 
by the bed, I moved it up here to put in our extra towels. I think my tripod's here. We'll do a spur of the moment unboxing now that my tripod has arrived. <sighs> Don't make the mistake I did. So if you're interested in doing video stuff, buy a good tripod. I have four, three or four kind of crappy tripods. <laughs> so I ordered the uh, Peak Design travel tripod. So this is the tripod. I bought it from Adorama because it was um, $100 less. It said it was used, but it was in new condition. And here's the weird part. I, I thought I was ordering the aluminum one, and I still think this might, I still think this has to be aluminum, John, because this is too heavy to be carbon fiber, but this thing says carbon fiber. And those things are like twice as expensive, but anyway, so this is the Peak Design travel tripod. I like it because it takes up much less space and, and has the, the Peak Design kind of quick connect. I'm really hoping that this works out because I'm really tired of finding, of buying tripods. They are not cheap. So, so that's my quick unboxing. Thank you, UPS. Came in time. Okay, now we're going to lay out everything that goes in the garage or the trasheroo. This is all the stuff that goes in the trasheroo. And it's just lightweight stuff. If somebody wants it, they can take it. And uh, we've got a cover for the bike, a shower curtain, some shower parts, the floor mat, the water hose, a tablecloth, our bicycle helmets, and the um, tank, the dump your tank stuff. I think it helps if you're tall. <laughs> the treasury has made a huge difference to us. because We just needed that little bit extra for these weird things like bike helmets. It is really amazing that all of this stuff goes in the garage and John's going to pack it right now. So John is putting in the hoses for the air compressor and then the tire repair kit. The, pressure re the tire pressure reducer. So the hatchet goes in here as well as the EMS uh, adapter that goes on the end of the plug, but it's plugged in right now. Here's the Agile jack and a shovel in case we have to dig ourselves out of something. We have used it. <laughs> That's right, we had to level a campsite at the Nomad Fest, wasn't it? Yeah. Didn't we use it for that? Yeah, the, the, the site was so unlevel. We, used to, we dig, dug a hole so we could get the tire down. And then we bought a saw in case we had needed to cut a piece of wood or something. A little hand saw. And then the two Pico chairs. They were the only ones that really fit in here. And the griddle for the stove. These are the walkie-talkies. Then we're going to try to get the, use them more so we can tell people how they're working out. We're going actually going on some hikes uh, up in Tahoe. We're supposed to do a hike with our son and his family. We're going to be camped above Independence, so we're hoping to hike there if it's not too hot. And then here are our bike tools. Didn't we do a video on the bike tools? We did. Yeah. I have to, like meat or something? Yeah, I'll try, to, I'll try to link that if I can remember. Let me plug this, get that in. Here's the hammock. Somebody asked me today which video I had done to, that I talked about this hammock, and I, I can't find it. So I just wanted to show him that it's a carabiner that comes on the hammock. I tied a knot at the end to make it short enough, and then I put a cheap little carabiner into this where the seat belt hooks into the wall, and then they latch together. So that's how I did it. Two bike chargers. So there's a lot of stuff here that most people wouldn't have. And tools. 
We're going to try to find a better tool box. More tools. So we have kind of a separate. Sometimes it's better to have several smaller things than, than one large thing. And John's big, huge feet. If you don't have huge feet. And then a bucket with a bunch of stuff in it. Go here, and here's where the, the Lego bricks go. That's right, we have those Lego bricks we have to put in. I forgot about those. So I'm just gonna put these here for the time being. Okay. Some gloves, and this is, what is this? Uh, electronic tape measure. Oh, oh, that's right, for work. So, and then a regular tape measure. And the quart of oil goes over there. That's the garage. And still have space, but we have been taking more blocks on our trips because we find that the one stack just isn't enough, especially in our son's driveway. This is all my stuff. So I have a bag of tops, a, a pair of shoes. I'd like to have something I can just slip into. So if I need to get out of the van for some reason, I don't have to tie my shoes. Basically, I have three pair of shoes. I have uh, the hiking shoes that I usually wear most of the time, and then some flip-flops for showering and that sort of thing, and then I want to have something that's uh, I can just slip into. So that's that. And uh, this is my sleepwear, my nano puff uh, jacket, super lightweight, but it'll give me some warmth if I need it. Socks underwear. This is a uh, raincoat and uh, swimwear and I think, oh, and a lightweight jacket. And then uh, um, these are my pants, my long pants. So let's go put that in. One of my suggestions is always leave a little bit of space in your bags because you're going to buy something along the way. And uh, you'll run out of space if you don't. Every time I pack this, I pack it differently. It just depends. Okay. I have to relieve some room for my electronics. And then I'll put my shoes in here. Okay. So there's still a lot of space here because I'm sure there will be something. But in the, in the winter time, it's much more challenging because you've got winter coats and you know, all the winter stuff, and so it's always a little more challenging. You always have more bedding as well. Um, so I forgot to put this in. There's our bedroll. It goes way back there. I'll put John's pillow in here. Now let's get John's stuff. So here's the stuff that I bring. It's just a, 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 a bag of pants. That's two pairs of pants, two shorts, swim trunks. Four t-shirts, short sleeve, two t-shirts, long sleeve, and t-shirts and uh, underwear, and in this case, face mask, pair of shoes, toiletries, electronic cords and connections. That's it, that's all I bring. And flip-flops. <laughs> okay, real simple stuff. The toiletries, et cetera, slide right in here. This is the paperwork I need for my appointments. And three bags of stuff. A pair of shoes. And this is much abbreviated over what I would typically bring. And the reason being is I find that no matter what I've done in the past, there's always something I never used. So this time I'm cutting it back again. This is what I think I'll need in a seven day window. What did you forget? I hit my head. Oh. Three. Take three. <laughs> I switched things up a bit. I now have switched the pots and pans that used to be down here. I've moved them up here. And this is where I used to keep the food. And now the food is down here in this shelf. And I put a light in there. I don't know why it's not going on. I have to figure that one out. Uh, but I added a shelf here. And there's my teapot. <laughs> and canned goods and I've got to, I still have to load up the food. And I also keep food in the back where the bedding is and I keep it in um, clear boxes. I try to pre-measure like 
you know, mixes and things. So I, here, here's a, like a serving of pasta or a serving of, of oatmeal or whatever. So I can just, um, I don't have to worry about measuring things. And then the one pan that really didn't fit well was this cast iron. I had it in the microwave, but I didn't like that there. So it's going to share space with some of my electronics. Um, so that is that. I allow myself one appliance, and it can either be the Instant Pot or the Blendtec uh, blender. And because it's summertime, I tend to want cold things. And so I might take the Blendtec so I can have some protein drinks or smoothies or that sort of thing, but I haven't decided yet. I'll decide in the morning. And isn't the weather this coming week supposed to be around 100 degrees for a week? It's supposed to be really hot coming up. But, but at the same time, we're going to be mooch docking a lot, and I can always use my relatives' appliances, so maybe I won't take anything. Okay, these are kind of the last little remnants that go in. Um, I, this, this little container just holds weird stuff. I'll probably put our, uh, I have some avocados that I've picked from the tree and some tomatoes um, that are just ripening, so I don't want them to get damaged, so I'll probably keep them in here so they don't get banged around. Then we've got hats, the fan, got to have the fan, and, uh, and one more sheet. So that's just kind of oddball stuff. Now this is our little ice chest that we take because we like ice. Wow, it's dirty. Uh, we like ice, and I put one of those, our son and daughter-in-law get a food, one of those food things every couple of weeks, and it comes with this really nice flat ice block thing that you put in the freezer and it'll refreeze. And so I put that on the bottom here and then I can take ice cubes and that'll make the ice cubes last several more days. And so we'll have ice um, for a longer period of time. And then I can make my smoothies if I decide to take the Blendtec. Uh, so, and then, and then if, if we really have a problem with our ice, uh, the refrigerator, uh, not keeping temperature, then we can put things that are, you know, anything that would spoil, we can put in there with the ice. Here's my day pack, and I've got a few things in here. I'm not going to pull everything out, uh, but it's mostly hiking related. The only thing, other thing, John, that we didn't talk about was our our um, our yeah walking sticks and the longer poles for the shower, which we we keep above the bed in a weird shelf. Uh, binoculars. This is the battery uh, that we use for jump starting vehicles. <laughs> which John always seems to have to jump start something. Uh, in, up in Canada, we jump started these young kids who had a, some kind of a weird, yeah, go-kart. And they came over and said, do you have a, can you jump our go-kart? And John pulled this out. It's nice not to have to use your, your battery from your rig to jump start somebody. So that's what that's for. And it, it can also charge many devices. And then my drone, which I'm really going to try to get out and fly, you guys. I really want to get better at that because who doesn't love nice drone footage? Of course, disinfecting wipes. I don't know if I'll take these or just take our normal, you know, squeeze bottle stuff. And then my new tripod and a few more electronics. Uh, John's not taking his laptop on this trip, but I, of course, have to take mine. And, uh, and that's about it. This is... Nice to be packed the night before. I'm also going to get the food packed tonight. One of the things I did do since we got back from the Sierras a couple weeks ago was I then, my brother sent me this fabric to work on the windshield covers so I could do some more experimenting, find out which fabric I really wanted to use. And so I've made two more now. And so those are actually going with us because we're going to go up and see my brother in Spokane and hopefully work out some of the details that we needed to kind of figure out if I'm going to make some of these and sell them. And so we have to carry <laughs> extras of these, but we'll, those will probably fit fine above the, uh, and the cab shelf because there's extra space there. And it's really important to have extra space in your van because, you know, you have like a purse or, you know, you take off your clothes at night, you need to stash them somewhere. It's really nice to have a spot to stash them as opposed to just having this explosion of stuff everywhere. It's, uh, it's good that we're starting to get rid of things we really don't need. So hopefully you don't mind seeing us in the same clothes over and over. You can't smell us. So uh, uh, just seeing the same things. We're going to hit the road tomorrow mid-morning. We don't really need to 
be out there at 5 a.m. anymore because the traffic is so light. So we'll see how that goes, although it is the heat of the day, and that's always a challenge, and uh, it's going to be hot in the next several days. But we will deal with it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week. I had a question on the drive up here that I said I would put the answer in the in this video and the quest two questions one was the sunglasses that I wear these are Maui gems um, but the reason I like them so much is these are the readers so there is you know for people who have who are farsighted um, this part down here is a reader but you really can't tell so much when they're on <laughs> And the other thing I like about them is you can send them back to Maui Gym at, and in, I think it's $75 and they will replace the lenses. Now, I don't actually think they replace the lenses. I think they give you a whole new pair, but uh, I could be wrong. But anyway, so I have to do that regularly because I'm so brutal on my sunglasses. These are already really scratched, but uh, so those are the sunglasses. And then the she asked about what my favorite tech pants were. And now that's a problem because I have never found a favorite tech pant. Uh, some come close, but they're just not there because they lack a pocket. A pocket for my cell phone on the side of my leg. And if they do have a pocket, so for example, the ones I brought, they're a Royal Robins, and they do have a pocket on the side, but you can't get a cell phone into it. It's a zippered pocket. I want a pocket that you just slide your phone right down into, right on the side. You don't want it one in the back because then you have to move it every time you sit down. Uh, so what I've been doing, and if any of you are sewers, what I've been doing is finding old jeans that I don't really wear anymore. And I cut off, I turn them into these cutoffs. So I turn them into a cutoff and I take that extra fabric and I make it into a pocket. I open the seam up to about here. So I open up the seam sew in the pocket and then I have a pocket that will, where'd my phone go? What do I do with my phone? How can they go so far in such a small space? Without any legs. This is why I have an Apple watch so I can find my phone. Oh, there it is, it's plugged in. So, sometimes I do this and my phone is actually in my pocket. So now I have a perfect pocket for my phone. So if you're any sewers out there, you might try that out. So.